Hello and welcome back to Ask Angela, where we ask some of the questions that you've been asking directly to Angela herself. So, Angela, let's get uh, cracking with our first question. Um, so our first question we've been asked is from the students who've applied. When are they likely to hear from you to know whether they've been successful or not? Uh, first of all, we've been keeping in touch with all those students that have applied with us. They're getting copies of my principal's blog, which is updating them how the bill's going, etc. But our closing date, which means when we can actually give those um, positions out to young people, is the 31st of January. So I'll be allocating places to individuals that have applied on the 1st of February. So people hear very, very soon after that. And in fact, if they call, they can probably get the results as well on the telephone. Uh, we've also had some questions about these, the uniform that they're going to be wearing, so could you maybe talk us through that? Uh, we're not going to have a school uniform. This is very much a business orientated college. It'll be like coming to work. We expect our young people to be in suits and dressed for a work environment. Where appropriate, they'll be in overalls if they're in, in the workplace and they're doing commissions or projects. But in the main, we would expect them to dress smartly as if they were going to work. Now, I know you're very keen to replicate a working environment, so maybe you could talk us through what a typical day would be like for the students. Their working day will be, they'll have to attend between half past eight and five o'clock, and we'll have enrichment activities beyond um, five o'clock in the afternoon, but also we'll be open probably from about quarter to eight in the morning, so they can meet colleagues, have breakfast, all the same that they would do if they're working in industry already. Um, their working day will be very much around commissions, projects, um, some parts of the national curriculum, so they'll do their GCSEs or their A-levels, but they will do projects and they will do commissions that are we working with our partners. Um, some parts of the year they will also be on work placements, so they'll be getting ready to go out into the workforce. Now you mentioned enrichment programmes, maybe again you could tell us a little bit more about them. Um, our enrichment will be um, an add-on to some of the curriculum, so there'll be things that would naturally interest those that are interested in engineering, so we might have other projects or clubs, but we'll also have things like debating clubs, music, dance, keep fit, anything that youngsters are interested in really, and some of those things will depend each year on the intake of our students and what we set up in response to the sorts of things that they want to do, particularly with colleagues, we're really, really keen to encourage teamwork, project work and remember there's no homework um, for youngsters so if they are struggling with some of their studies part of our enrichment activities will be to support those that perhaps need a little bit of extra support outside of the normal curriculum day. Well Angela thank you very much you've answered that perfectly as always thank you very much and we'll see you soon and again yes happy new year and thank you very much indeed for joining us and we'll be back very soon with more Ask Angela.